so we're in Volcano Manor. We're going to go do the Abductor Virgin duo. We'll do a little bit of stuff in Altus, and then we're going to go back to Limgrave, because I want to see if Bernal is still there. I don't know if coming to Volcano Manor makes him come here, uh, and if it does, then the Bell Bear Hunter should just, like, almost immediately spawn. Don't have to talk to him or anything, because he won't be there. That's what I'm hoping for. So we're going to do this boss, we're going to do the, uh, what's his face? The Watchdog, Tibby Mariner, got to do Gillica and Godefroy. Put a name, Godefroy. And then two other bosses before Limgrave. How are you liking Gaiden? It's a lot of fun so far. I'm enjoying it. I had a rough time with, uh, one of the Vites last time. But it's been fun. I haven't really run into any sub-stories, though, which is crazy. Because I'm in, in Chapter 2, and I'm not, like, at the beginning of Chapter 2. I think I'm, like, at least halfway through Chapter 2. And I think there's only, like, four or five chapters in that game. It wasn't meant to be long. But I am curious to see when it is, or how, I guess, it's going to tie into 7. Because I know it's, like, everything that happened before, but I don't know if there's any overlap or not. The time definitely overlaps, because there's things that happened uh, in 7 that they've mentioned. Ow. Well, I almost didn't roll that, because I didn't think I'd need to, honestly. I can't hit it. He's too high up. Are you kidding? How's this? Oh, they're really trying to kill me. <laughs> they're really trying to grab me. The enemy filled message pops up so fast there. It's wild. As soon as the boss health bar hits empty, it's like enemy filled. Doesn't happen that quick with almost any other fight. Can't do the rot duo, it does. I think there might be one more, but that's it. Usually there's like a pause. Wyndham Ruins. Wyndham Catacombs. Should be able to get another level here. Endurance. Which is good, too, because I'm going to memory of grace out of here or die, one or the other. It's just faster. What the heck? How's that going through the wall? Doesn't make sense. Ripping's supposed to bounce off of walls. I actually could have made that if I kept going. <laughs> that's, that's too nervous, though. Hey, what the heck? Oh, you actually have to run past here quick, I guess. I didn't realize that. That's what I usually do, and I never think about it. But if you stop, apparently these things fall on you. I had no idea. Then down night. Don't. Hmm. Yeah. You can do it over here, I guess. What? I didn't even land on the thing yet. The lift started going up before I was even on it. That was very weird. Now it's not a running attack. You can't tell me I was running there. I don't believe you. Do not believe you, Miyazaki. I always forget that fight gives you a, a bell bearing. That was a good amount of damage to this guy before he moves. Like, normally I can't do that. My stamina!
Hey, these guys are just really annoying, honestly. Why am I getting staggered so much? Is this poise, like, just awful? I'm just getting poked and I can't even move! Like, they just stun lock you! What the heck is this? I just need to... Yeah, he needed to not teleport there. That's all I really cared about. Like, what is my poise at? 39. Like, it's not amazing, but it's not nothing. Is it here? Where's the, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. Snag that. Then we can get the Ritual Sword Talisman. I don't know what I swap off, though. That's the only thing. Maybe the Ritual Shield Talisman can come off? Can't level. No point in trying. Man, Landell is massive. I did, like, you know it's big, but, like, you can see just, like, the entire outer wall almost from here. Gilica. What a fight. I also could take off the uh, Gold Scare, but I might do that instead. Because the extra runes from it, like, don't really matter, you know? I think that'd be better. All right, time to fail this jump, as is tradition. It's basically a coin flip, I feel, as to whether or not I will land this. Land on the rock. Yeah. Maybe that wrong. Could be better. I've got to figure this out, though. So I'm so tired of dying here every time, or half the time. So yeah, there was a spot, there was a, another rock that looked like it was higher up and closer than what I'm trying to jump to, so maybe if I can find that from here, I can land on it. Just don't know where it is, though. It might be that. Okay. So what after this? Elmer? Oh, Stone Dig Control, and then Elmer, And then back to Limgrave. Let's see, how are we doing on Stone Sword Keys? Six, and I need, what did I say, 11? It's one here. Six more for dungeons. I don't think we've done any of them. Actually, we're gonna do another one right after this. Hold out this tunnel. Hate that attack. No. Hey, it's not cloudy anymore. And look at the view, it's beautiful. You can see Gelmir over there, too. Oh, so the troll. Because we have a fire weapon, it means we can blow up the barrels. Which is like good and bad, because if you blow up the barrels with the with a fire weapon or spell or whatever, it can do a lot of damage, but you can also very easily kill yourself. It works out if you get the kill though, kind of. No, then, you know what, not really. Because if you get the kill, then you're stuck at the bottom of this elevator shaft and it's not very ideal. So I'm gonna try and not hit barrels. Should level up here. So 13 more levels and then it's not like the build is done, but it's pretty much done because we can't get more endurance. Strength at 60 is like probably not much worse than strength at 80. I'll still go strength to 80, but you know, it's not going to be a huge improvement. All right, try not to hit the barrels. If it's like one barrel, I think it's okay. If it, it's it's when it's like a group of ten, then that's bad. Just 
should probably do spitting slash here, honestly. Spinning slash doesn't get, uh, I guess, a penalty from the hardness of this dude. Then Elmer should be pretty simple. I mean, we already did the Kaylee Bale Bearing Hunter, and that's by far the worst one. Maybe not by far, but it's definitely the hardest one. I guess the, the one thing Elmer has is a very tiny arena. All the other Bale Bearing Hunters have, uh, like, more space to work with. Found Father Gascoigne's kid. Yeah, it's a... It's a Bloodborne's not a happy game. <laughs> Saw someone using the music box in a video and I was confused where they got it. Yeah. From the kiddo. I don't know if anyone has a good ending in Bloodborne, honestly. Darkest of Rumsoft games? I think so, too. I have to remember to go to Limgrave after this. Ow, what the heck? Blast it. <laughs> they all just fell. Oh, that's convenient. Oops, a little early. Oh, that was actually kind of close. Oops. I just read that. Oops, I accidentally hit L1 and roll at the same time for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, please stop hitting L1 and roll at the same time. It's not working. There's no reason to do that. All right, we're going back to Limgrave. We're going to see if this works. War Master Shack? Why did I... Why did it? Ah, whatever. I don't know why it's discovered. I don't know if I went there in a new game or, or not, or maybe, I don't know. Because, like, if it's discovered, why would I not have the grace? That's what I don't understand. Why would I have gone there in a new game, though? Is he here? He's still here? Oh, this didn't work. All right, whatever. Theory destroyed. So I guess he doesn't move until probably you're in the actual main part of Volcano Manor, or... Alternatively, maybe if you do Rikard, I don't want to do Rikard now to test this, but maybe if you do Rikard, he moves. I don't know. I'm not sure. Leave. Yeah, I was trying to skip this whole segment, but it's all right. There's a whole reason for pushing this off, but now I know it doesn't work. I also didn't think about the fact that I'm, I'm fighting back-to-back -back bearing Hunters. Well, that was sick. Perfect timing. So then after we get done with Limgrave, we go back to Kaelid. We got the Cemetery Shade, we're done. And war dead. Yo, what are you doing? What? What's this death bird doing? Stop running away! Oh, great. Kill the baths, thank you. I think they're getting nothing for runes here. 14k. Oof. I miss the uh, dragon barrel. <laughs> it's like the last time we ever got a lot. Death Touch, Catacombs, and then High Road Cave. That's what you shout to women? That's dangerous. 
Would not recommend. All right, so this is a pretty short dungeon. I got a memory of grace out of here too. Give. Oh, I didn't pick up the uh, glove word. Oddly, usually it does. Instead of hitting the switch. Black knife assassin. But injured. It's interesting that this is like the only boss fight that starts with without full health. I think, right? Actually, Melania's phase two doesn't have full health. Mm, yeah, we take this. I wonder if you can just jump on like the other side of this uh, bridge. Okay, so the, you can actually, that's interesting. You can see the limit of the uh, spirit spring, I think. Like there. Sorry, the light octopus is not helping. These swords to me just like, I don't know. I look at them and I think they're like made of plastic or something. Like they're a toy sword. I think it's just because of the holes, really. I can't see. It's supposed to get snow, I think, tomorrow morning here. I don't know how much we're getting, though. Where am I going? What the heck am I doing? Can I make this jump? Nope. I don't usually do that. I wasn't sure if I could actually make that jump or not. Let's try that again. This time, less death. We're going to go over here instead. Where I would actually jump from. Chris tried Gascoin again. Nice. Gascoin's a fun fight. And I love the I love the music there. Is he a hunter or a beast? I think he was a hunter, maybe. Maybe he wasn't a hunter. He definitely turns into a beast. I think I think he was a hunter. There is, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure his his song is called The Hunter. Okay, so now... Oh, Blue Dancer. Hang on. I'm way too happy for that. I don't know why you can't use the thing here, man. Alright, so now we're going to... Uh, Kaled. Like, one bat has to be aggroed, and it just screws everything up. So... Cemetery Shade, Redon, and then... Uh, what's the other thing? Can't remember. Uh, more dead. More dead catacombs. Huh. Never noticed this thing here. Oh, that was a bad jump. Oh, that was a hor horrible jump. Horrible jump. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your strength build, are your talents heavy or any high strength scaling affinity? Yeah, fire. Fire uh, scales with strength, oddly. Fire is strength and lightning is dex in this game. I don't know why they did that, but... Because I think they should have just made both of them, uh, or at least uh, fire into faith. Then in like Dark Souls 2. I think, isn't that what it is in DS3 as well? Uh, do I need to rest? No. But yeah, I always do fire weapons. Either fire or flame art all the time. Not... Intentionally, obviously, just, uh, you know, it's just what gets rolled. I have yet to do lightning or sacred. Or poison, but, you know, I've had to get the black wet blade a lot for bleed or occult. But I don't think I've ever had to get the... I don't even know what it's called. Is it sacred wet blade? Whatever the one in Langdell is. Want to see poison? Me too. I'm sure it'll happen. Enter to rot ashes. You see Pyra's in faith. Yeah, so they did it like DS2, because DS2 is also in faith. In DS2, Pyromancy and Dark were very, very similar, but also very different. So Pyro scaled with your combined int and faith. Like the bonus was calculated. It was like it, they took basically your int and faith, added them together, and then divided by two. So if you wanted to do a Pyra build, you could go all Int and no Faith, or all Faith and no Int, or do a Hybrid. Dark damage, however, takes the lowest of the two, so if you do Dark, you have to go Int and Faith equally to get the Dark damage to scale better. And you get the, the request, the Dark Moon Longbow. 
I did get the Dark Moon Longbow, if that's what you're asking. But at what point can you not attack? Like, right at the threshold, essentially. Champions! Oh, I'm ready. We do win this. I wonder if you could hit Jaren with, like, a bow from where it's safe. I think it'd be hilarious if you could, and then everyone at the festival tries to fight you. And then maybe you get locked out of her dawn or something. I wonder, like, if you killed him, you probably would get locked out of her dawn. Unless you do, like, the stake skip. Wailing Dunes. Coming for you, Radon. Now we wait. I mean, he's he's dead. Good try, Radon. You did your best. I hope. Maybe, maybe he didn't. I don't know. I think for a guy whose brain's probably mush, he did okay. It's a cruel fate, though, that Melania gave him. But well, that's war. That guy beats me up for hours on end every playthrough. <laughs> In new game or, like, past new game? Because when you have 60 Vigor and, uh, like, plus 10 weapon, or sorry, 25, I guess, you know, max level weapon, it's not too bad. I've also fought him a lot, so it's not like I never died. Never got past new game. Nah, I, honestly, there's no reason to in this game. You don't get anything for it. New Game Plus is so easy compared to to New Game. Well, depends, but usually it's easier. Actually, no, 41. The It's just like the beginning of New Game isn't scaled high enough, in my opinion. They did what DS3 did, and they, like, barely changed the scaling between New Game and New Game Plus 7. For, for sorry, like, the difference between New Game late game new game bosses and new game plus seven bosses like the same bosses is not as much as you think they get like 50 percent more health it's harder in the older games it's not as hard in elden ring though when you have this much health like redonda new game is much harder than redonda new game plus and the late game bosses don't get a lot more health Meladia probably has like three more health in new game plus than new game I can't speak for how hard they hit, but as you level, your your resistances also get a lot better. So just by leveling literally anything, you get tankier than uh, when you fight bosses in new game. This is just for Elden Ring and DS3. This isn't for like DS2 and Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1. I mean, some of that stuff applies, but the health values of those games, like it scales much harsher, much more harshly than Elder Ring or DS3. 4200, my goodness. It's always satisfying to get a stagger with just L1s, because it doesn't always happen. In fact, it very rarely happens. It's Red Maiden, or not Red Maiden, uh, Kaelid is done for now. We're gonna go to the South Gate. South Gate here. All right, is it nighttime? It is nighttime, perfect. Don't die. I think I'm dead. Oh, good. Not dead. Fantastic. I love being alive. 
Death right bird. There he is. Oh, what? Missed. Let's see, why is the ghost flame on the house? The hell, the ghost flame didn't go away? Lame. Did we have to fight on this, Mr. Death Bright Bird? I guess just Mr. Bird. Death is his first name. Bright is his middle name, I guess. Alright, Royal Revenant. Ooh, actually made it over the, the wall. Wow. Didn't think I was gonna be able to do that. I feel like I should level up. I'm, de I'm definitely resting. I, I guess if I rest, I'm gonna level up. Flasks. Level up. More endurance. Off we go. Royal Revenants. So we're almost halfway through uh, the bosses already. Like seven more bosses maybe to be halfway through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. Something like that. I missed. So Loretta, the Onyx Lord, Crystallion, what's the other one? Knight's Cavalry, and Magma Worm Makar, and then Perfumer, Trisha, Misbegotten Warrior, Duo, and then that's like the halfway point once you get past that boss. The actual halfway, or like it's over halfway, I should say. Why am I resting? Don't rest! No rest, no time. Just run. Rest is nice. It is. But I did not need to there. I had full health, not enough runes to level. There's no point really resting. Oh, almost walked right on that hand. I don't know if the hands drop anything significant. Any weapons or anything. I don't think they drop a weapon. I don't even know if they drop anything. I feel like maybe ingredients, crafting ingredients, if I had to guess. Karia Manor is always so gloomy. It's just so foggy here. Always. Do I need this golden seed? Yeah, it can't hurt, right? I only have uh, 12 flasks. And one golden seed. I need nine more. I don't think I'm getting 14 flasks. That's all right. Did I hydrate properly today? Better than normal, I did, yes. My water's almost gone. I can't imagine fighting in the water is very good for this. I was not ready for that at all. Tuna cheese and red onion toasties. That sounds nice. I'm a big tuna fan. And having like a tuna melt sounds great. I need this. So we got the Onyx Lord, and then we gotta start Ronnie's quest. Great cheese pull. What? I do not understand. It's kind of interesting. You can't even really see, uh... Like, where's the Erd Tree? I'm trying to think. This is north. It'd be, like, northeast. That just looks like cliffside.
Come back here, you. He refuses to come back. Nice. Spinning Slash is actually OP here. Oh, wow. No, keep, keep hitting L2. Boom. Take that. Where's my tree? I guess you don't get to see it. You can't miss it here. It's interesting that you can't see it in the Everjail, though. Goodbye, dragon. I will level up after this. We're gonna talk to all these nerds and then go to Rhea the Carney Crystal Tunnel after this. No particular reason. Yes. But the he not, I am sure. That one I know. Like the he not, I am sure. It just sounds like a different dialogue when you don't skip it. Because you're not used to, like, the words that they usually say. Why can I not use Torrent? I reside in another... or a tower nearby, whatever it is. I don't care, Celibus. Pleasure the Karian? What? What are you telling me to do? Alright, we're gonna go to... here. And then... Another loading screen! Woohoo! My favorite. No, I was just memeing, because uh, he said pleasure the Karian. Well, it sounded, that's what it sounded like. Low budget instant noodles. Hey man, sometimes that hits the spot. You love Ronnie? She's cool. Wonder if we'll actually learn more about like their, uh, the Knight of the Black Knives, that whole situation. Pleasure Lady Ronnie? Oh, I see. Yeah, I gotcha. I missed the entrance, I think. This way? Once I killed Godwin, yeah. And then, um, is it this way? No, it's not this way. You would think I would know this by now. It's gotta be like right here. It is right here. Rhea Lucaria. But yeah, it's, um, I don't know, because we don't, we don't know much about it. We don't know, like, if Ronnie was on Merica's side the whole time. We don't know why the assassins have the destined power of destined death. There's a lot of stuff that we are not sure of. 10 out of 10, but she's blue and has four arms. What is she? She's a doll. And I'm not being endearing. I mean that literally. Quite literally, she is a doll.